I do want to talk about those poll numbers because something Gavin Newsom and Ron DeSantis have in common, they're two of the most nationally known governors in this country, but they also have declining poll no- approval ratings. Um, both of them do. They're still pretty high, but they have dipped within the past few months in their state. Do you think for either of them, Governor Newsom or Governor DeSantis, this will move the needle in any way for their state in terms I, I really of approval don't. numbers? I, I really don't. Uh, the reason Gavin Newsom's numbers are going down, as I said, is because people are concerned about crime and homelessness. And people also resent the idea he's been traveling around to Israel uh, and, to, and to China, uh, why we have all these problems in our in our own state. I think the reason uh, uh, DeSantis numbers are going down, something very similar. I think people still want Donald Trump and they feel that Gavin, that uh, Ron DeSantis should stick to the knitting and, and, and be governor of Florida. So I think the fact that both of them want to be president uh, is, I think, hurting both their ratings. And I don't see how this is going to change anything. You and I have talked about debates before, and you've said that politics 101 is you do not debate if you have a commanding lead. So now in terms of this, do you think it's because their approval ratings are declining that they decided to get in the ring together? Well, I'm not really quite sure. I know Hannity is the one who interviewed uh, 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 Gavin Newsom uh, and suggested this debate. I think, frankly, that DeSantis was kind of surprised that he said yes. And I think DeSantis uh, would have perceived himself to have been a coward or would have thought others would perceive himself to be a coward if he said no. What I find interesting about this whole thing, Brittany, is that the uh, uh, the RNC, as you know, uh, did not allow me to debate the first time, claiming that I, that I did not meet their criteria. One of the things that Ron, uh, Ron, uh, 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 I started McDaniel. Ron Romney, McDaniel, thank you. Uh, you know, her last name, and she changed it to McDaniel because of, of the stigma of of, Ron, of of Romney, so I keep keep calling him Romney. But uh, she said anybody that uh, participated in a non RNC sanctioned debate would be excluded from future debates. And now all of a sudden, DeSantis is doing this debate, which seems to me to violate the rules that she set down. So we'll find out what kind of consequences. But I think uh, DeSantis probably feels at this point uh, he's losing in the in the uh, race for the for the uh, for the nomination. He spent a boatload of money. Uh, he has fired uh, can uh, managers, and I think maybe this is a hail mary for him that if he feels he does well in this debate. Maybe just maybe his numbers will go up, but I doubt it. Again, I think it's just a sideshow. What really mattered was the time when when Gavin Newsom was facing a recall, uh, and he was asked to debate me. He refused to debate me, and now there's no nothing at stake. He's turned out, so he got nothing to lose.